Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you what to do when you have completely overexposed shot and this has been shot with a DSLR and sometimes it's really tricky to be able to shoot in a really hard natural light basically the strongest is around noon so that's a nightmare there's no clouds whatsoever anywhere so it's really strong unless you have filters it's going to be really tricky for you to adjust like aperture and have really nice clean image not overexposed not underexposed but in premiere pro we can still fix this really really beautifully and basically this is how it's going to look like in the end so that's a quite difference as you can see you can still save this and by the way if you want to do good color correction on any kind of shot just shoot in mov instead of mp4 it gives you like a just a little bit more availability for nice post-production and colors correction so what we need is Lumetri Color. So if you can't see this panel right here, go to Window and click Lumetri Color. Make sure it's checked right next to it. And then we can start with the basic correction. So basically what we need to do is turn down highlights. Okay. And now, as you can see, the sky is now pretty much like getting blue. So it's a big improvement. And we can also play with whites but as you can see if I turn down the whites the whole image whole shot is a little bit going like a little bit darker so I'm gonna put out a little bit of contrast and turn down the shadows so I bring up the green around and now it looks pretty good but it's still missing something so let me go to HSL secondary so hue saturation and luma and I want this sky to look amazingly blue. So let me go to eyedropper tool and select this blue that I want to change. And here I can select how much of the blue I want to change. So let's go and click on the color gray so I can actually see the difference. And this is the actual like a uh, little lake fountain. So we can change this as well. And here you can adjust how much you're going to let in for the blue change. As you can see, like you can see some gaps with the saturation one. So do you really want this? I don't really want this, to be honest. So, um, and with this one, as you can see, something on the left appear, which I don't want either. So I think we're good like that. So I can click back and then go to this wheel and select any other color from here from different from this one so if i go a little bit like here beautiful okay really beautiful so if you want to compare like before and after and obviously there's a huge difference and of course you can still go to basic correction and bring up the contrast like a little bit more or you can play with the temperature but as you can see kind of like changes um, the color that we change from the HSL secondary so pretty nice before after if you found this video helpful give it a like if you have any questions leave me the comment and don't forget to subscribe because I have more tutorials prepared for you so do subscribe and if you have any questions comment below